you start to judge someone on their surname? Well, as I said, I don't judge people on their surnames, but certainly I do make a very quick decision based on their first names. And there's a whole bunch of first names that I don't like. I don't like footballers' names. I don't like names after seasons of the year. I don't like geographical location names, celebrity names, things like Apple, things like, you know, Tilly Fizz or Jolly Apple, whatever they've decided to call their crazy. Poppy. My child's called Poppy. Yes. It's a flower. It's a flower. A geographical not classical. Seasonal. No, no. Not, they're not like Latin. Sure Poppy's quite You nice. should call to the Latin name for Poppy. That would be really posh. Interestingly, though, other people have criticised me for calling her Poppy because they say Poppy's a naughty name. So, so you like, parents you do criticise each geographic other. Geographic stuff. Geographic. Oh, so Brooklyn or London. Your or... child's called Indian. Yes, but, you know, <laughs> it's, that's because she's... It's not related to a, a location. That's because it's related to a location. No. We're talking about education. Yeah, yeah, I believe the earth is flat. Read something. I found this this really interesting comment mm -hmm. in my little research on YouTube. Uh, okay. To imply that the earth is flat, you aren't just saying that NASA is lying. You aren't just saying there's a conspiracy within a single company. You're implying there's a conspiracy involving the world's 71 space agencies, 13 of which have launching capabilities. Not only are you saying all 71 of those agencies are lying about the shape of the earth, but... Every single person within in them is lying or being fooled by their respective companies. Furthermore, every single astrophysicist in the world is, by your implication, a scam artist getting paid to do research through telescopes and instruments that would be useless if the world were flat. So roughly 75,000 people are lying about what they do for a living. Not only is it absurd to even imply the Na that NASA uh, program that under the United States government could possibly pull off this sort of conspiracy, but the fact that all 71 space agencies around the world are also taking part in some conspiracy and every astronomer and astrophysicist and astronaut is also part of the same. It just seems that so many different people are involved in this major conspiracy. Yeah, the uh, all the all the. So I guess. Um, yeah. So 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 all the. President Obama will go down as perhaps the worst president in the history of the United States! Exclamation point. At real Donald Trump. <laughs> Well, at real Donald Trump, at least I will go down as a president. Caught up with Chelsea and Michael who were jogging by and were nice to just stop for a quick second. And I said, what are you doing running? And you're saying it was really good out? It's the perfect texture for running. Very low impact on its dry snow so your feet don't get wet. Oh. All right, thanks. We've seen a lot of people out here, like you said, running, sledding, just enjoying it. One thing, oops. Why should your right to freedom of speech trump a trans person's right not to be offended? Because in order to be able to think, you have to risk being offensive. I mean, look at the conversation we're having right now. You know, like you're certainly willing to risk offending me in the pursuit of truth. Why should you have the right to do that? It's been rather uncomfortable. Except you haven't sat there and... I'm just trying, I'm just trying to work that out. I mean... Ha, gotcha. You have got me, you have got me. I'm trying to work that time. through in my head. Yeah, yeah, it took a while, it took a while. It did, it did, yeah. It took a while. The Republicans better have something pretty special up their sleeve if they're going to try and beat what they did last time. Donald Trump, just last week, he confirmed to the National Review that he is again considering a run in 2016. Do it. <laughs> do, do it. Look, look at me. Do it. I will personally write you a campaign check now on behalf of this country, which does not want you to be president, but which badly wants you to run. to put on these glasses uh, that are going to cure my color blindness for the first time in my life. <sighs> yeah, let me tell you about the color of blue. Oh, what 
about the color? What is it? Oh, red, I think it is. How about yellow? You guys like yellow? Oh, what about a little green, huh? How about green? <gasps> purple? You guys like purple? Oh. Which one of the other players on the other team would you say are your biggest competition in this game? Mm, no one, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have lost three matches in a row, yeah. so that kind of makes you...